So gamma tau therapy is essentially a uh, type of brachytherapy, which means radiation in the field of a tumor. So it is a technology used for malignant tumors. It's radiation seeds. So the seeds allow bringing the radiation directly to the cavity without passing through to the outside. So rather than outside in, we're radiating from inside out. So some of the benefits of gamma tile are um, so patients that have been previously radiated, which is again all the patients that we would consider for treatment, they've already kind of exhausted some of their normal tissue tolerances. And so for that reason, gamma tile is extremely helpful because you're able to put it directly into the surgical cavity and deliver the dose of radiation immediately. And the dose fall off is extremely quick, meaning that there's not a lot of penetration besides the surgical cavity, therefore normal tissue is spared. With our patient, the reason we chose to use gamma tile is because his tumor still progressed in a fairly local manner rather than spreading star-like, which glioblastomas do. We've reopened the old craniotomy and removed the tumor behind the cavity where the original tumor was. These are pictures in the same location when you see essentially empty space with fluid and the very bright spots are the, the seeds within the sponge that are sending radiation to the to the tissues behind it. Strictly speaking, gamma tile insertion or therapy is relatively straightforward and happens at the end of surgery, but there's a big process up front which involves a lot of people. So the primary team really is the neurosurgeon myself, determine whether or not the patient is a good candidate for gamma tile, and then we actually take it to our tumor board so that other oncologists, surgeons, radiologists, et cetera, can also weigh in to make sure this is the best kind of pathway for the patient. You know, Shuka goes in, he takes it out, and then my physicist and myself are the primary ones that are helping him to facilitate how many tiles to place, where to place, and then we actually do the post-treatment planning portion of the procedure that shows like how much dose is actually being delivered to the uh, surgical cavity. What we face in Idaho are distances and a lot of patients they come for treatment and then they have to return for appointments or radiation treatments. So the the advantage of the gamma tile is that the radiation starts immediately at the time of surgery rather than waiting 21 to 28 days after the procedure while things heal. Gamma tile is already working or has done most of its work by the time we would normally be starting external radiation.